So in this video we are going to be covering installing Active Directory. Uh, we're going from a single standalone server, uh, an environment that Active Directory is not installed at all on, and we are going to be showing how we can use the role wizard and the old-fashioned DC promo to install uh, Active Directory on a server. So let's get started with that. So here we go. We're going to take a look at the initial configuration tasks and we have the add roles wizard this is one option and when you select this add roles you're gonna see on the next page that there is the active directory domain services and the DNS server DNS is required for active directory so this is if you are in a brand new environment you have to install the DNS server so this is one way to install active directory if you're familiar with Windows administration, this next method of installation will be familiar with you. It's called DC Promo. And essentially, DC Promo is how you would uh, promote a server, you know, not before the, the time of roles. And what this is going to do is going to take a look and check to see if there are certain binaries that are installed, things like that. So we're going to let this run through. And it might take a moment, so we'll see after this finishes. Okay, so we see that this now kicks off essentially the same wizard. We're going to take a look at advanced mode installation. And what advanced mode installation is basically just going to show us a couple of options for installing Active Directory that we wouldn't normally see. An advanced mode installation, uh, it will cover if we're going to make a new forest. In this case, we will because we don't have an Active Directory domain. A new domain, if we were going to join a domain controller to an existing domain and uh, there is now something that's called the read-only domain controller and this would be to improve performance across sites and other things like that um, so that's that I'm gonna click next this is going to basically tell us a little bit about um, the difference differences between security levels Windows 2000 and 2008 um, we're going to be installing Windows 2008 R2 so we're going to create a new domain in a new forest and this is our fully qualified domain name now you're going to notice that I'm not going to use a .com or a .net I'm using winservtoots.wst and why sometimes administrators will do this is so that the uh, Active Directory architecture is not exposed to the outside environment. If you choose to integrate um, DNS into your Active Directory environment, or should, I should say forward-facing DNS, you really want to minimize the attack surface. So I, I don't want to expose my Active Directory to DNS. This, as you can see, WinServe Toots is going to be the NetBIOS domain name. And this is functional levels here. Um, functional levels could be 2000, 2003, 2008, or 2008 R2. There's not a whole lot of difference between 2003 and 2008. Um, it does have some security features, but it really starts to get interesting when you get into Windows 2008 R2, and I'll spell out the details of that in the blog post. It's really something interesting. should definitely take a look at it. Okay, so moving on here, I'm going to go through, it's going to take a look. So as you can see, we're going to install the DNS server. Uh, the first server in the domain will have to be a global catalog server. And because this is the first server in the domain, we do not have the option of making this a read-only domain controller. I'm just going to go next. And this is an error. Yes, we cannot create the authoritative parent zone because there's no DNS server yet. We haven't installed it, so we're going to quick click yes. This is where we're going to be storing our AD database information. And something to note, uh, if you read through the blog post, this is going to be the password for the uh, domain administrator. There is some difference between the actual defaultly created um, administrator account. It doesn't actually run with full administrator permissions. Uh, subsequent admins will. So again, I'll post a little bit more about that with the KB article um, in the blog post. Let's see. 
Okay. Um, so now it is going through and it is configuring the Active Directory um, domain services. One thing while we're watching this, uh, for those of you who are you know, used to Windows, you can see Group Policy Management Console is being installed. Group Policy is actually applied a little bit differently in Windows Server 2008 and R2. Um, before you just used to go into Active Directory Users and Computers, right click on an organizational unit or um, on the domain, things of that nature, and then there would be a tab under Properties for um, group policy. It is not applied like that anymore. There is a whole independent MMC console for group policy. We'll cover that in another video. So we can see that the installation is done. We're going to finish. I'm not going to restart just yet. I want to make sure that these roles are installed. So we're going to go over to the roles option under our server manager. And yes, you can see that we do have two of 17 roles installed on this server, the Active Directory Domain Service and the DNS server. And we do have a warning and an error, but this will probably be resolved. So I'm going to reboot. Thank you for watching the video. Hope it's been informative. And please continue to watch at winservetoots.com.